I'm Shinshi Kazama, a junior in high school. Hey, we're all going to karaoke today. Do you want to join us? Hmm, I don't know. Eh? Let's go together. It's more fun with Yuki-same. Oh, if you're going, I'm going to. Oh, me too. I haven't decided to go yet. The name of the girl surrounded by her classmates is Kisame Kiryu. She is beautiful, friendly, and as you can see, popular in class. Once she mentions that she is going to karaoke, the majority of the class is sure to join in. Well, I'd love to go to karaoke with everyone, but I already have a plan today. A plan? Yeah, with Shin. I am good friends with such a popular girl. I might even call her my best friend. We were in the same class in the second year, and we got along strangely well and started talking often. After that, we hung out after school and talked about important things as well. Well, anyway, she is a good friend of mine. Ah, that looks good. Huh? What about karaoke? You heard me, right? I have a plan with you, remember? It's a lie. We haven't made any plan for today. In short, she just didn't want to go to karaoke. It's hard to be popular, isn't it? You understand that, and that's what I like about you, Shin. Want some? I've been thinking about it for a while now, but I don't think that's an appropriate chewing sound for eating a pokey. Then, what kind of chewing sound would you make? Uh, uh. That doesn't sound right. That's the worst! Aren't you being too harsh? Well, if you want to eat it, eat it on your own. Uh, no. Uh, well, what did she just do? <laughs> uh, she's challenging me. She loves to play pranks. No matter how much we consider ourselves friends, we are still a man and a woman. When she does this, I can't help but feel embarrassed. Kisame has a bad habit of teasing me like this and enjoying seeing my reaction. I wonder how many times she has done this to me before. But I'm a man too! If I pull back and take my mouth off the pokey, it would ruin me as a man! Then, I just have to be ready for her! Uh -huh. Uh, uh. I win! Don't you try to tease me again! Hmm. What? You were trying to tease me! But you're disappointed that you lost? That's too bad! Shut up, you idiot! It seems that she was frustrated. They're doing it again! Are they really not going out? Damn, they look so happy! Hmm? I feel a deadly vibe around me. Or is it just my imagination? And... Huh. Uh, Perhaps because she was so frustrated at losing the pokey game, Kisame began to tease me even more than usual. It seems that she wants to see me blushing in confusion, but it doesn't matter as long as I know she's coming. Ooh. Hm. Uh, uh. Hey, you're blowing too hard and spitting. Are you happy? Ew. Uh, why don't you budge at all? If I get upset here, I'll feel like I lose as a man. Besides, I'm confident that I won't budge no matter what you do to me right now. I guess I was wrong to stir things up that way. <sighs> do you want to see? She started to do even more extreme things. I don't think this is the level of teasing anymore. Too bad! I know you'll say, it was a bathing suit underneath. Uh? It's alright to be so uptight, but you're sounding like a little bit of a slut right now. What? fluttering skirts, revealing breasts, and so on. There's a limit to how much you can make fun of me, you know? Uh, you didn't even know you were doing it. I mean, you didn't budge at all. I really wanted to make you nervous. But now that I look back, I realize how embarrassing I was. Oh no, I want to quit school. I guess you were aware that you were doing something embarrassing. That's good. You should have told me sooner. I only acted as you wished. But I can't believe you didn't get a crush on me after all that. <sighs> <sighs> Kisame doesn't look well. Did something happen? Since then, Kisame has stopped teasing me. However, Kisame has been down for a while. I don't know why, but as a friend, I have to cheer her up. Kisame? Hmm? What? Let's go hang out after school today. Just the two of us. What? You mean, just the two of us? Like a date? What's wrong? We've hung out many times before, haven't we? Well, yes, but it's not the same now as it was then. 
And I didn't even consider you as a man before. I'm sorry. What did you just say? It's nothing. After school. Just the two of us, in a private room with Shin. Come on, Kisame, sing, will you? Singing out loud will make you feel good. It will cheer you up. Uh, did you invite me to cheer me up? Hmm? Yeah, I guess. I was worried about you. You were worried about me? Of course! I'd be worried if my friend wasn't doing well. Friend? Hmm? After that, I wondered why Kisame only sang tragic heartbreak songs. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, be careful. It's dark. I know! Uh, hey, oh, crap! Uh, S sorry! Uh, I... sorry. Uh, um, uh, I'm going to the bathroom. Uh, okay. Ah, <sighs> it was an accident, but I kissed my friend. It was so sudden that it was hard to understand. But it was soft, and she smelled so good. <sighs> what am I thinking? Kisame is my friend. Don't be conscious of it. You stupid bastard! Ah! Whoa, a ghost? After that, we were strangely aware of what had just happened and decided to go home since we were no longer in the mood for karaoke. <sighs> this is awkward. I mean, why am I so conscious of her? Kisame is my friend. It's not good to feel... Mm, like this, about a friend. She's an important friend to me, and I'm sure she feels the same way about me. Yet... Looking at her like that, I'm disgusted with myself. Hey, Kisame. Wh what Hey, can we pretend that what happened earlier didn't happen? What? Let's pretend that it never happened. If not, we'll be awkward, right? I'm not sure what to do, okay? Uh, Kisame? I can't just pretend that it never happened. That things are the same as before. Eh? Kisame? Uh, ah! I was stunned and could do nothing but watch her as she left. The next day... Mm. Oh, good morning, Kisame. Mm, good morning. This is awkward. This is too awkward. Huh? Hey, aren't you two being unusually awkward? Is something wrong? Well, we've been going through some stuff. Oh, I get it. Lovers quarrel, right? No, it's not like that. A lover's quarrel between Kisame and me is impossible. Don't you think? Huh? Is that so? But Kisame loves you. So, it's not strange for you two to have a lover's quarrel. Huh? What? Hey, what does that mean? Huh? You didn't know how Kisame felt? Th no! What? I'm sure everyone can see that she loves you, Shin. What? Are you a stupidly insensitive guy? Wait, did you hear that from her? No, no, no. You can tell by just watching her, can't you? Why? I mean, you don't usually play pokey games with someone unless you like that person, do you? Kisame is not the type of girl who plays games like that. I think she was just teasing me. She teases me a lot, you know? Uh, you mean, it's hard to tell because of that? But we can tell so easily, you know? When Kisame looks at you, it's obvious that she's in love with you. Is that so? Yes, I think so. The proof of that is that. Although Kisame is very popular, you don't hear much about her love life, do you? That's true! I've never heard of anyone confessing their love to her or anything like that. That's because everyone knows that Kisame is in love with you. So they know that they have no chance. That's how easy it is to see her feelings, do you understand? <sighs> Kisame loves me. She loves me. If Kisame is really in love with me, then what I said to her yesterday must have been very terrible. I'm such a jerk. Despite calling her a friend, I was still conscious of her in the end. I didn't even notice how Kisame felt about me. If anything, I even said those things without thinking about her feelings. And then, there was the part of me that felt happy when I heard that Kisame liked me. I'm a jerk! But we can't stay like this. I should talk to Kisame. Maybe Kisame hates me because of what happened yesterday. Still, I have to talk to her and apologize. After school... Hey, Kisame! Do you have time after this? Huh? Oh! Hey, Kisame! Wait for me! Don't follow me! Does she hate me after all? Does she hate me so much that she doesn't even want to look at me anymore? But even so, I can't stop chasing after her! Hey! Don't run in the hallway! Oh no! Damn! 
for some reason, I was the only one who got caught by the teacher and scolded so hard that I lost track of her. I mean, the teacher's lecture was too long. It's already getting dark around here. I wonder if she's already gone home. I guess I'll just give up for today and go home. Huh? I found her! What? Why is she here? I should speak to her now. No, wait a minute. If I call out to her again foolishly and honestly, she may run away from me. Then, let's go behind her without being noticed. Mm -hmm. uh, Shin, he didn't come after me. Hmm? Talking to herself? About me? I thought he lost me. So I waited for him in the park so it would be easy for him to find me. But he didn't come looking for me at all. Huh? She was running away. But did she want me to look for her? I even posted where I was on Instagram. <sighs> Sorry, I was being scolded by the teacher. So I had no time to check your Instagram. Shin doesn't like me. Hey, you! Huh? What? Are you interested in seeing me naked? Eh? If you're interested, look! Don't look, Kasame! Uh, what? Sh Shin? Don't look! He's a flasher! F flasher This kind of guy is a bad guy who gets off on showing his naked body to women. Anyway, I can't let Kasame see this kind of thing. One third of mine. What? Okay, let's get out of here while we still can! Wait, Shin! What's with the one third? You don't need to worry about it! Back to the topic. Huh? We've come this far, so I think we'll be fine. Are you hurt, Kisame? <sighs> Kisame? I feel so weak. I can't stand up. Well, you were attacked by a crazy flasher. It's understandable. Come on, I'll give you a lift. But... but... It's okay. Well then... She's lighter than I thought. Well... What? About what happened at the karaoke yesterday, um... I'm sorry. What? I was conscious of you. I thought it was wrong to have such feelings for a friend. So I said what I said. I'm sorry, even though I didn't know your feelings. Mm, it's okay. I forgive you. That easily? If you noticed my feelings, that's good enough for me. And there's no need for you to apologize in the first place. I didn't confess to you. So it's natural that you didn't know if I liked you or not. <sighs> I'm glad you say that, but... So, there's no need for you to feel guilty about it or anything. I am to blame for not being able to tell you how I felt about you. I was teasing you for fun in the beginning, but the more I was with you, the more I wanted to spend more time with you, and I wanted you to be excited by me. <laughs> well, I didn't have the courage to confess to you before. I see. Anyway, don't worry about it, Shin. Just be your usual self. That would make me happier. I can't be normal anymore, because I'm already in love with you. What? I've been telling myself that we're just friends, but I've probably been in love with you for a long time now. Uh, I see. So we... Uh, both love each other. That's right! Just like that, Kisame and I started going out. Bonus! I want to tease you too, Kisame! What are you talking about all of a sudden? You have teased me so much! I want to get back at you! Hmm? Well, why don't you try it? Well, I guess it's no use. Phew! Whoa! You reacted so much now, didn't you? No. You did! Uh, Are your ears... sensitive? Yes, of course not! Phew! Whoa! Uh, uh, it's sensitive. Uh, no, it's not! Alright, if you're going to be like that, I'll stop blowing in your ear. You know, it's okay if you blow on my ears a little bit more. You're kinda liking it, aren't you? I don't like it! <laughs>